It turns out that being insulin resistant can accelerate your rate of biologic aging. Now, this is really important for many people to understand because as you know, about 96% of US adults have some degree of metabolic dysfunction, implying that they are on the spectrum of insulin resistance. In a recently published narrative review titled Insulin and Aging, A Disappointing Relationship, and this was published in October of 2023, dove into the mechanisms behind why hyperinsulinemia and impaired metabolic health can exacerbate or accelerate biologic aging. Now, of course, biologic aging has all sorts of long-term health consequences that are linked with increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease, dementia, and cancer. But I think more importantly for a lot of you in your 30s, 40s, and 50s is you just want to look and feel better. So if you're eating a diet or living a lifestyle that fosters insulin resistance and hyperglycemia, you're not doing your body any good from an aging perspective. You're accelerating the rate of biologic aging. And this narrative review really dives into all the mechanisms. And I'm not going to bore you with a complex biochemistry, including augmented cellular senescence and loss of proteostasis. There's nine different hallmarks of aging, telomere attrition, epigenetic changes, loss of stem cell reserve, mitochondrial dysfunction, all of that. But it turns out that insulin resistance augments, really perturbs uh, the biologic functions that are linked with healthy aging. And so we might see this manifest as increased wrinkles, decreased energy, joint pain, not really good memory, uh, hair loss, poor vision, all of these things that people are starting to notice really in their late 20s and 30s now. Uh, you start to look at, at people having vision changes earlier and earlier, hair loss, uh, wrinkles, uh, all of these things are a consequence of, of accelerated aging, and that is exacerbated by underlying insulin resistance. So we're going to talk a little bit more about how you can optimize insulin and blood sugar health. But first, friends, I just want to say thank you for being here. If you're enjoying the content, hit that like button. Since we're talking about metabolic health, I just have to let you know about a natural product that's been used for over 3,500 years in traditional Chinese medicine known as berberine. Over at Myoscience, we formulated a very novel combination featuring berberine and synergistic nutrients, alpha-lipoic acid, as well as biotin. The berberine fast accelerator can help support metabolic health as well as curb those pesky evening, evening food cravings for cookies, ice cream, and some of the, the baked goods enriched in sugar. So if you're prone like me to wanting to have some cookies in the evening or even some sweets, you can curb that by using two to three capsules of the Berberine Fasting Accelerator by Myoscience. You can check out the hundreds of reviews over at myoscience.com and also save using the code podcast at checkout. So let's go back and talk about why insulin is so problematic when it comes to supporting healthy aging. Uh, one of the main mechanisms that I think is really important for us to recognize is as we get older, our cardiovascular reserve and function declines over time. And it turns out that a really important mediator to support cardiovascular health is nitric oxide. And it turns out that there's an enzyme known as endothelial nitric oxide synthase that's really important for helping with the vascular tone in your vessels. And insulin resistance and hyperglycemia really kind of compromise endothelial nitric oxide synthase from doing its job in terms of causing increased vascular elasticity. So that's one of the main reasons why there's increased rates of cardiovascular disease in people who have underlying insulin resistance. And you need nutrients to be delivered to your cells and waste products to be removed from your cells. And that's why it's really important to have healthy vascular function. And insulin resistance compromises that. Moreover, insulin resistance can compromise mitochondrial function as well as levels of oxidative stress and redox balance within the cells. And so these are some of the many different reasons how blood sugar dysregulation and insulin resistance can uh, accelerate biologic aging and can compromise the function of your eyes, your memory, uh, wrinkles in the skin, and also loss of hair, which we do not want. Uh, last but not least, and I think this is really important, is insulin resistance can actually uh, compromise the function of your fat cells, promoting more and more fat gain. And as you get more and more fat gain, you get more and more senescent or misbehaving cells, you get more inflammation. So it's this vicious cycle. And I think it really starts with cutting back the carbohydrates in the processed food. I mean, that's just what, you know, metabolic health 101. You go to any metabolic health conference, work with anyone who supports the reversal of diabetes and weight loss and all of this. And this is really where we start is cutting back on the processed carbohydrates in the junk food, 
possibly the industrial seed oils are increasing the levels of oxidation within your cells and your low density lipoprotein particles and changing cell composition. There's a whole linoleic acid oxidation hypothesis. Oh, this stuff gets complex, but really cutting back on the industrial seed oils, I think are really helpful. Exercise we know is really beneficial for supporting metabolic health as well as post meal levels of glucose. You know, we've done all sorts of videos over the years. Uh, I went to a, a vegan restaurant and had pizza and all this junk, and my glucose levels shot up to the moon after wearing a continuous glucose monitor. What did I do to mitigate that? Went for a walk. They dropped 80 points after just going for a short walk. So if you're not walking after meals, you're not optimizing your metabolic health. That's really important. Balancing sleep. So making sure that you're going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time in the morning, getting some morning sunlight to entrain your whole circadian clock system. This is why they call the graveyard shift the graveyard shift. It doesn't help you age better. It, you know, is linked working in the night and having circadian rhythm disruption is linked with metabolic health issues as well as cancer and cardiovascular disease. So supporting your circadian rhythm uh, is really, really helpful as well as uh, resistance training. We know that Basically, your muscle is a glucose insulin sponge. The more muscle mass you have, the more healthy that muscle is, the more that you can properly dispose of glucose in the post-meal window. So th these are just some of the many different modalities or tactics that you can implement to optimize metabolic health, especially as you get older, because there's this natural age-associated increase in inflammation known as inflammaging. This is really actually a word, not just something I'm making up. You can Google it or go to PubMed and, and learn a little bit more about that. But for more details, if you really want to nerd out, you can check out this phenomenal narrative review titled Insulin and Aging, a Disappointing Relationship, finding that hyperglycemia and insulin resistance accelerate biologic aging via multiple mechanisms from decreasing autophagy to increasing the loss of proteostasis or protein balance and creating misfolded proteins that compromise all sorts of aspects of cellular function. Which, by the way, uh, one of the uh, hallmarks of aging is loss of proteostasis, and insulin can perturb that. So support your metabolic health, friends. Age more gracefully. Uh, support your cognition over time with the tactics that we just talked about that are very simple, very accessible. I will mention heat, and heat therapy is also another great strategy for supporting both your cardiovascular system as well as metabolic health. Uh, going back to the late 90s, New England Journal of Medicine found that people who go in the hot tub, insulin-dependent diabetics require less insulin. So if you're not yet using a sauna blanket or an infrared sauna or a finished sauna, you're totally missing out. That is another great tool to support metabolic health. So friends, I very much appreciate you tuning all the way through. Hopefully you found this quick review helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on a future episode down the road.